life before supercars, Cam Waters. You didn't have a huge career to get to your point. You've always been sort of headed in that one direction, but there was a cool opportunity for you that popped up 10 years ago. Can you tell us uh, about what happened a decade ago? Uh, yeah, 10 years ago now it was the Shannon Supercar Showdown. So it was a, a pretty weird experience being a young bloke, but um, yeah, it was awesome to be able to step out of a Formula Ford and, and get the opportunity to race at Bathurst in a supercar. Um, with the Kellys as well, which are from Mildura, so it was, it was all pretty cool. So I just had to get in there and, and try and win the show, which I um, managed to do. Do you remember how it all sort of came about? Yeah, so I think just Rick and Todd approached us and asked if we wanted to be part of the, the reality TV show. Um, I think at the time they were still putting it together, so we weren't sure if it was happening, but obviously it all come together for them and, and um, it turned out to be you know, a really cool experience. Um, you know, it wasn't too too fake like a lot of reality TV shows there was a fair bit of driving involved and, and testing us in, in different ways so um, it was a really cool experience and, and great to get to Bathurst you know do the biggest race of the year um, you know a race that I grew up watching as a kid it was, it was a pretty cool experience and you know to pair up with Grant Denya who's um, you know a bit of an icon on, on the telly and and done a lot of racing was, was pretty special. At the time did it feel like this is a make or break opportunity. I needed, I needed to put everything into it. Was it really important to you at the time? I wouldn't say it was make or break, but I definitely wanted to go up there and, and, and go well. Uh, I probably put a little bit too much pressure on myself to go up there and, and perform where, you know, looking back, it, it didn't really matter where we finished as long as we, we finished. So, you know, I learned a lot from that experience for sure. And, and yeah, if I had my time again, I probably would have cruised a little bit more on the, on the day, but, uh, you know, taught me a lot and um, following you know, the, whole, the whole thing, it, it helped me you know, get sponsors for the next few years to, to get me through the DVS. Uh, the competition itself, so in, in the competition, who else were you up against at the time to, to be able to get that pretty cool seat? And do you see any of those people pop up in your world today? Yes, Nick Cassidy was in it, so I think he was one of the first ones to go, which is probably one of the most talented, which is a bit bizarre. Um, you know, Nick Foster, who was racing Formula Ford with at the time, uh, you know, a couple of internationals and, and Andrew Jordan from the UK. So he was in the finale with me. Um, so yeah, still kind of watch those guys and, and see what they're doing in the motorsport ranks. Since you got to know the Kellys pretty well through that and you have the Mildura connection, was there a part of you that thought that you'd like to drive for them and that was a team that you'd like to get to know more of? Yeah, it was, it was great to be able to you know, step into supercars with Kellys and, uh, you know, the whole Mildura connection was, was pretty special. And, um, you know, the first supercar I ever drove was a Kelly car. So, um, yeah, that was really cool. Obviously went through the, the uh, reality, reality TV show, um, won that, and then tried to do DVS the following year, which, um, you know, just budget constraints put an end to that. And, and we kind of went our own ways after that, which, which is okay. There was no bad blood or anything and um, still stay in contact with them today. So Bathurst that year put us in the, in the scene, put us in the moment, what were those opening few days like? What, what were you feeling driving out through the Blue Mountains to get there? It was, uh, it was a massive lead up. Obviously had a couple of test days before. Uh, they were mostly wet, so I didn't really get to drive the car too much in the dry, which probably made it a little bit challenging once I got to Bathurst, even when we got to Bathurst, um, all the practice was wet until I think the Sunday. So I was pretty green in the car and then you know, just overwhelmed by the whole experience to go to Bathurst, drove up there with dad on my L's. Um, that was pretty bizarre. Had my P's test booked in for the for the Monday. And um, yeah, just the whole lead up each day was was so cool and an experience I'll never forget. What was working with Grant Daniel like uh, in that whole lead up? Because he was still very much a race car driver back then. Yeah, Grant was great to work with. He has so much experience, you know, in the car, but also outside the car, which, you know, probably helped me kind of coach I got coached through a lot of the things um, that Bathurst throws at you. Uh, probably didn't listen to him enough, to be honest, being the young bloke. And I uh, just wanted to go out there and drive the car as fast as I could. But yeah, awesome to, to be paired with him to do my first Bathurst 1000. Um, wouldn't have had anyone else now looking back on it. And um, yeah, even just everything, getting in the car, doing driver changes and all that stuff. He was, he was so good to work with. Did you uh, have any rookie moments that weekend on debut? Oh, I had one, I think you know what I was talking about. So I uh, had a little moment at Mick Philomy, uh, just in the, in the wet, I think it was drying up and put two wheels in, in the wet and did a 360 at the time. Didn't really consider how big of a moment it was, but now looking back, like it could have been huge. So I'm um, pretty lucky to walk away with that. 
What was the sort of uh, feeling like waking up on, on Bathurst Sunday for your first race? Ah, uh, yeah, waking up on Sunday was just like a, a probably another race for me. Um, it wasn't until you probably go to the, the driver parade is when you really starts to hit you and um, all the emotions come and and it's uh, yeah, you, I guess your whole life you've been working up to that moment and then you, you're finally there and it, it all hits you at once so yeah no words can describe that feeling and um, you know hitting the grid on on the Sunday was was super special. You got through the race and you, you had a chance to compete and you did the driver changes and you, you, you got it out of the way and did it did it go sort of how you wanted it to on that day did you did you put in the effort that you thought you, you had within you? Uh, I definitely put in enough effort I think to to um, you know get everything that's thrown at me to try and get through it but ultimately I think I was still unprepared and I never probably could have been prepared. I uh, probably needed another two or three days in the car, more dry running. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It's the opportunity that's thrown at you. You take it with two hands and, and you have a crack. So for, for Sunday, probably just pushed too hard and um, you know, made a little mistake at Forest Elbow, crashed the car. The guys did an amazing job to, to fix it. And, and from that point, we you know, just wanted to finish the race. So after they fixed it, we got out there, we finished the race. You know, tick the box, which was cool. Um, you know, the car was a bit beaten up, but learned a hell of a lot. Looking back at it now, how, how thankful are you for just having a cool opportunity like that, one that sadly doesn't really exist anymore? Ah, it's super special to be able to go to do my first Bathurst 1000 like that in a unique environment for sure. Um, it was good because there was no pressure really for us as a wild card, where you know if you go, you had to get paired up with you know a main game driver who's in a championship and, and you're expected to perform. I think that's you know, a much different way to do your first Bathurst 1000. So pretty grateful for the opportunity and, and how it all panned out. Um, wish I had my time again and drive a little bit differently, but it is what it is. It's been a good 10 years since, mate. Well done. Thanks.